Oh, Lucy, you never chase me. I summoned you, but you don't love me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm take a screenie of this before it's too late. Like and subscribe much? Hello monkeys, today I will teach you how to draw Lucy. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, please excuse my voice. I uh, have been sick with the scurvy for the last few days. Just kidding, I don't have scurvy, but I do have a cold or something. Um, so just bear with me. To start off with, we're gonna draw Lucy's skull, and um, Lucy's skull is made out of ghostly bone material, so don't accidentally draw any fur um, or flesh or anything like that. Just, just, just draw a skull. Um, you know, you you got cheekbones, you got you got a triangle nose. Um, she has about four or five trapezoidal teeth and one triangular one. Uh, I erase the bottom of the skull here so I can fit the teeth in real nice and then add these little lines that they kind of connect the teeth to the skull kind of like her gums except they're not gums because as I said she has no flesh and for a little disclaimer uh, I've actually never drawn Lucy before so this is a uh, less of Jaw Clamps teaches how to draw Lucy and more of Jaw Clamps figures out how to draw Lucy. Um, but I do have this chart here that I made that will help you know what layers you should be working on and what layers you should keep separate and where you should have them. This should help you to make a nice detailed Lucy drawing with transparent layers and whatnot. Anyways, I've started to draw, um, I guess the sternum and collarbones I'm pretty sure these top bones are the collarbones they're not they're not ribs because they're not like they don't circle around but Lucy has four sets of ribs on each side and um, it's kind of hard to explain how to draw this and make it look good I, I actually really struggled with this obviously you don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical um, you don't want the ribs to be perfectly parallel they kind of jut out in different directions and then the hardest part is when you get to these bottom two is you want them to circle back around to where the spinal column will be which we have not drawn yet but I think I did a pretty good job here I had to make the sternum a little bit bigger all right the last rib here and then we can move on to the spinal column yeah, make sure you're making them reach around. Uh, you don't have to do it on those top two, but these bottom two, uh, you know, it's very important detail that a lot of people might forget. All right, this spinal column is very easy to draw. It's just a tail that kind of comes out of the back of the skull. It's just kind of pointy. It doesn't have any, like, um, vertebrae. And also we got to do these shoulder blades because what else will Lucy's arms connect to if you don't have shoulder blades? Very simple triangle shape and make sure that's in the back. Now for the bony fingers. Uh, these are very pointy, very bony, very... Um, uh, they're much different than the gorilla hands. They're kind of like almost insect-like with how long and pointy the fingers are. I don't think it's like anatomically correct to the gorilla hand, but it works. I had to use the liquify tool quite a bit to try to just get the right shape, and then I just copied and pasted it, you know, keep things simple. And the arms are very simple, uh, you, for the upper arm you just do one bone, and then for the forearm you do this like split bone, um, I don't know what you would call that, I don't know what those bones are called. And you can copy and paste that, and boom, that's basically it. That's that's my drawing of Lucy, and we're going to speed run through the line art, because uh, if you want to learn how to do line art, I covered that in my Jeff tutorial. I'll leave that linked in the description below, but we're just going to speed run through this. I mean, look at this. Wow. I am the fastest artist in the world. Holy crap. Lucy speed run any percent world record right here. Amazing. Wow. All right. So I got the colors here. Uh, on the left, those two colors are for the lines, and on the right, those are like the base colors, what Lucy is actually gonna be colored with. 
you'll see why there's two tones in a little bit here. It's all for just like shading and whatnot, but. So this is where I start grouping stuff together and setting the line art to reference. So on a separate layer, I can begin filling in the colors. And uh, my, my basic rule is if it's closer to the back, it should be darker. And then beyond that, you just do like regular shading. So make it lighter on the top. Um, make sure the spinal column is like the darkest possible color. Make sure the front of the ribs are lighter than the back of the ribs. You know, it's just kind of basic shading stuff. You can find all sorts of art tutorials that'll teach you like shading. That's not something I'll cover on my channel ever. Um, I'll, I'll just teach you how to draw monkey stuff pretty much. But uh, I kept the shading pretty simple. The only places I did any sort of details with the shading is on the arms and a little bit on the shoulder blades and then finally I did some on the skull. But after this I'm gonna teach you how to make Lucy transparent and ghost-like. Actually, never mind. First, we gotta color all these lines. Um, coloring lines is something I don't do in my animations, but in some of my just regular artworks, it's just one of those details that adds a lot, so always keep that in mind. And then this is where I got experimental, trying to make Lucy ghost-like. So you can set these different layers to different effects, and I found the best effect to be screen. So all the layers that have color on them besides the lines um, you set those to screen and that allows you to have a sort of transparent look and then you duplicate everything um, you set it back to normal you turn that layer white uh, like this and then you bloom you use a little bloom just like this but then you're gonna go back to your original Lucy drawing and set it to reference, and then you can cut out that middle part. So you can have a ghostly effect without taking away the transparency, if that makes sense. Setting the layers to screen wouldn't matter if there was just a white bloom behind Lucy, you know, it'd be blocking the background from shining through, so it's important that you cut out that middle part. And I'm pretty much done here, so I was just gonna I was gonna do something with the background. I don't know what I was thinking here. I uh, it was probably like three in the morning when I was drawing this, and clearly I'm out of my mind right now. I'm like, what are these colors? But uh, the result is all right. Um, let's fast forward to the end and let me know what you guys think, and join my Discord and show me what you drew. I am very interested in seeing your guys' Lucy drawings, especially if you follow this tutorial to a T. You know, and put your little spin on it. Everybody's got their own style. I, uh, I recommend you just, you know, develop your own style. You know, you look at other people's art styles and learn what they do, what you like, and what you want to do different, you know. I think it's important to have your own little artistic identity. And I'm curious to see what you guys can do. So join my Discord. That's discord.gg slash jocklamps. Have a wonderful Halloween, everybody. Boo!